Hi everybody, today we're at Epcot in Florida at Disney World. I'm the, no we're not, we're really at Bell Labs in Homedale, New Jersey. I came out here to see and show you this, the world's largest transistor. This is really a water tower, it still works. It was, ah, it was built, a bug flew in my hand. It was built in 1962 when they opened the Bell Laboratories. Uh, where they designed all kinds of crazy things like lasers and radio astronomy and holy smokes So wait, let me get into the eclipse of this here so I can show you the top Wow of this when they built the water tower They made it look like a transistor because that was another thing they developed here at Bell Labs miniaturizing electronics This is what's in your cell phone right now. I think I don't know I never understood electricity to tell you what but guess what or electronics, but Wow, I wanted to show you base of it here the bottom of it there how many look at the size of that transistor look it's got spotlights they must flood light this thing at night and it must look tremendous and amazing and this is must be where they keep the batteries for it and there is a little path out so I can go back to the car but I wanted to show you this the world's largest transistor and it's actually a water tower and we're here at Bell Labs and I'm gonna show you some other stuff that's here today uh, join us Welcome to the Cradle of Technology. I'm standing in front of, how do I wait for that car to go by? I'm standing in front of Bell Labs. Well, it used to be Bell Labs. That building was designed by famed architect Eero Saarinen, who also designed the TWA terminal at LaGuardia Airport. I'll show you a picture of that. Uh, Mid-century modern, modernist architect, killer building, built the, designed and built the Bell Labs building so that if there was an explosion in one laboratory, everybody else could keep working. These walls were designed to blow out in case of an explosion. They were working on all kinds of crazy tech developments in here. Starting in 1962, cell phone technology invented in there, laser technology in there. Uh, what else? Radio astronomy right here in Homedale, New Jersey at Bell Labs. You know, if you were a smart guy, you wanted to wind up working here. And t st Stacy, is that you? Holy cow, look at her way out there. Let's go see what she's looking at. I think she found something really cool. I'm gonna shut this off and we'll meet her in a couple of seconds, come on. We're, uh, we're walking around on these grounds in Homedale, New Jersey today. It's the middle of July. It's like 95 degrees. What would you say? It's like 95 degrees? Uh, 90. At least 90. Feels hotter in the sun. But we came to show you this. What are you looking at? Are, the Jansky Monument. Tell us about this. What's going on here? What did Dr. Jansky do, Stacy? from the center of the uh, galaxy. He found radio waves coming from the center of the galaxy with an antenna that looked like this. And this sculpture we're visiting today is a facsimile or a representation of this groovy looking antenna that Dr. Carl Jansky built in 1932. aimed the, this antenna right here, almost, almost on this exact spot in the old building before they built the Eero Saarinen building. <clears throat> Set up this antenna, oriented just like this so that it aims at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. And that is when he picked up radiation, radiation that was left over from what they think was the big bang. You believe it? I do. I believe it too. Let's take one more look at this thing. And you can almost, if you put your ear to it, you can almost hear. Should I climb this? I'm gonna, it's disrespectful, but I'm gonna just climb once. Like, I have to listen and see if I hear the big bang. There are the footprints up here. Oh, okay. There it was. It's... Did you hear it? Antenna. Maybe they're hearing that vibration in the Andromeda galaxy right now. Okay. So, it's really hot 
and I don't think I care that much about this anymore. So, from Homedale, New Jersey at Bell Labs, the Jansky Monument. That's what it looked like. The beginning of, oh yeah, you can see. It rotated. Whoops, can you see it like this? See how it's like a zigzaggy thing? Mm -hmm. On wheels. And it was on wheels and look and it would rotate. So we could imagine that these bricks here could almost represent the track. And I guess he would have turned that until he heard some stuff. Mm -hmm. Charles A. Lindbergh landed in Paris today and then <laughs> did you hear that? Uh. A big bang. It's really hot, I'm sweating. It is. It's very warm. Okay. There's no shade. I'm going to just drive around, show you a couple more pictures of this building. I don't even think we're going to publish this vlog because I didn't like it. Ah! But thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us oh, no. here at the birthplace of radio astronomy. And perhaps we may have heard the actual Big Bang here at Bell Labs. Okay. Ready? Yes. And this car goes, we're going to cross over. All right. Thanks for joining us. I really didn't play. I really had a bigger goodbye planned, but it's so hot I just want to get in the car now. Oh. And we also have to watch out because we're crossing over grass in New Jersey that usually carries Lyme's disease. Uh oh. Lyme disease, what have you. Okay. We'll check ourselves for ticks. We'll check ourselves for ticks. We could do it like monkeys. I'll check you and you can check me. Okay. Okay, so from okay. Bell Labs in Homedale, New Jersey. Shh, don't tell anybody we're here. It's like Area 51. They did all kinds of secret technology research here. A lot of it they don't want you to know about. Mm. <sighs> Shh, we gotta get out of here. Bye.